So we've been receiving a lot of requests. What's the deal? How does the sweep leg action work? Well, we've got some videos we just put up and we're talking about it specifically today. Does it go wide? Does it go narrow? Does it go fast? Does it go slow? We're gonna talk about it in this video, so check it out. It's Eric Johnson from Airtay Throws Nation, and in today's video, we're going to talk about a simple thing that I have been seeing all kinds of throwers doing wrong. And you might say, "Well, coach, how can you be seeing all kinds of throwers doing this wrong? We're in the middle of a quarantine. It doesn't make any sense. You're not seeing any throwers." Well, we are still working with a small group of our throwers here and there, sneaking out, maintaining social distance. But the one thing that we have been doing is we've been doing a series of webinars every week, and we're doing members training, and so we're getting videos submitted to us from our members all over the United States, actually all around the world. And so one of the things that we're noticing is what we're going to talk about in this video, and it's going to help you guys as well. So what is that one thing? Well, one of the things that we're talking about is the path of the sweep leg. So one thing is that it has to be long. Now, if you looked at some of our recent videos, we've talked about some home training, talk about critical drills that are going to add distance real fast, like doing 180s and 360s, because they teach the entry axis and they teach a really critical thing of how we're going to sequence up body lower body you're gonna see that so I can do a drill pretty simply and I can move around and you can see how I'm gonna be able to keep it wide now watch when I'm doing that drill is that right or is that wrong it's not a hundred percent right and here's why the thing that we want to do and the problem and the drill we want you guys to focus on we're giving you one of our drills from our system it's a really simple drill and we're teaching the action of the sweep so one of the things we've done for a lot of times is we tended to put a cone here when you tend to see young throwers who tend to cut in, right? So you see a lot of throwers and they cut this way and they're spinning here. The one thing is we've always put a cone here so we teach our athletes to get out. The other thing that we tend to do is work the band. Here we go, band on the knees. So here's one of the things we did for years and now we incorporated putting the band and creating stretch on the band. Now, can I create stretch on the band slowly you what you can now the drill that we're going to talk about is the sweep leg kick if you're an online member we go through this in a different level of detail because we online members are utilizing the system and so there's a whole connection sequence right our throwing chain reaction so for you guys though that are out there this drill is absolutely going to put i guarantee you this will put 10 feet on your discus right away this will put two to three feet on your shot put right away it's a really simple drill and what you want to do is the following so when we talked about this we've trained athletes to come out right so now you can see how it's going to help me take the wide path so now when we use the band we hinge and we're creating tension here we want tension in the legs so if you look at me this way when i turn and i'm creating this a really great example of that is looking at Daniel Stahl, looking at Frederick Dakers, right? He gets a really wide base. And so when he goes, he gets that. You would see how the band would create that tension. This is one of the reasons why we incorporate it. We want to start teaching our athletes to feel that. And our bands are a really easy tool to provide that feedback. Now, when we go over here and we're talking about how we're going to create stretch, we're going to be kicking out. So to create that stretch, you automatically have to do what? If you follow along right now and you do this drill and you just feel yourself spreading out and keeping your knees what does that path naturally make you do it should make you move your sweep leg faster so we use the band as part of that process and we use the upper body and we're feeling that motion so one of the drills again that we use in our system we talk is the sweep leg kick and so one of the things we're going to do is we're going to be hinging opening long staying here and we're going to be getting that sweep leg to kick out and again for years we've done stuff like the cone and a lot of times people will put things and they'll kick over here to us that starts the motion late you look at somebody like Robert Harding you look at Daniel Stahl you look at Frederick Dakers you look at uh, Malachowski you look at all these top throwers and what you're gonna notice is that that sweep leg is really roaring early and fast so we have multiple ways of doing it and this is always the challenge when you're a thrower or a coach not one way fits all. That's one of the things that's also something that we take into account. That's one of the things that our system is really good about, that we have six pillars and we identify the issues in each of the pillars so that we can create a custom formula for every athlete. Want to learn more about our system? 
check that link below. So one of the things, again, the sweep blade kick is really a pretty simple drill. Again, we tend to break it down. We know you guys aren't gonna wanna sit here and listen to 15 minutes of explanation on the drill. That's why we have our membership for those of you guys that really wanna dive deep. We did a video talking about the sweep leg path. The right side is the rotational side. The left side is the linear side, right? It's moving this way. Now it has to have some degree of rotation from the left foot into this position here. But the key is, what are we seeing all the time? Here, okay? Now watch when I do the drill here, right? So a more aggressive sweep leg and getting that leg out and around is absolutely gonna add distance now, I guarantee you. So while you guys are a little bummed out and understandably so, get out, go get into your throws, get your sweep leg much more active. You're gonna notice the increase in speed. Speed is the name of the game. That's one of the things that we're always focusing with the throwing chain reaction system. We're getting our athletes on balance. We're teaching balance, repeatable positions. That in turn is able to automatically get faster and we have to know how to increase the speed. The shot put, again, being a more rotational sweep is going to be more this way right so this is where we're going to be rotating here and kicking it out this way and so you're going to, again you're going to notice that i'm going to be there okay and again who i think does that phenomenally well uh joe kovacs tom walsh and really ryan krauser those guys have incredible sweeps you look at all these guys you're going to notice that they have these really dynamic aggressive sweep legs so the sweep leg is is a vital part of the throw so at any rate those are that's going to be your simple drill for today this is how you're going to add that distance quick go out try it put this to use comment below we want to hear how many of you this helps we're really confident this is a really simple thing to learn how to do it now there are tricks and there's timing and there's other aspects and there's the pillar one and the setup but for the most part getting that sweep leg much more active and aggressive right from the beginning of the throw keeps it moving fast and helps it accelerate and helps you move through your finish a lot better and that more that additional speed means further throws so thanks so much for watching guys like you said hit that smash that subscribe button for me a little thumbs up action comment again tell us how this drill works for you and we'll see you on the next video